live, production, sound design, Kronos. Kronos is a new music workstation from Korg, and more than a new instrument, it brings together fresh new ideas and innovative new technologies. For example, nine sound engines, not on separate cards, but actually working as one entity, sharing resources, sharing polyphony, sharing power. The Kronos has 16 simultaneous effects, solid-state drive, lightning fast. On top of the hood, we say, an 8-inch TFT color touch view display, making the interface fast and easy and intuitive to use. Live production sound design. Conus is great for all three of these things, but let, let's look at them individually. First of all, live. For years, people have been asking to be able to play one sound and then change to another sound and not have the original sound cut off. Introducing SST, Smooth Sound Transitions. production as well. For starters, you have lots of tools to actually get your production started in the first place. For example, drum track. Every program, every combination has a, a drum kit and a drum pattern waiting to play along with. also does karma. Karma sort of works like an arpeggiator. It takes the notes that I play on the keyboard and creates a musical phrase. But the difference is this. This control surface allows me to go in and modify and change the pattern in real time. I can make the pattern less busy, control durations, control no note range, 
save these settings into eight different scenes. Every program can have one karma pattern and one drum track at the same time. In combination mode, I have four karma patterns plus the drum track. And when you get an inspiration, get an idea for a song, you can immediately go to the 16-track sequencer and capture your idea right away with one touch record. We also have other tools for production, like song templates, that allow you to get set up a sequencer with different uh, instruments and so on, so you can get your production going right away. There's more, much more. I'm so it also has a 16-track hard disk recorder. I can record four tracks simultaneously from a variety of different inputs on the back directly to the lightning fast solid state drive. I can then go to my real time control surface and mix and edit and mix and change my, my audio tracks, my mini tracks, the effect sounds, the EQ. I can go to the sampler. I can sample and resample in any mode. Stereo time slicing, editing, etc. I can then save and load in a variety of different formats. I can have them go in and add 16 creative effects and 32 simultaneous free band EQs to add that icing to your cake. Now, a keyboard like this needs to be able to, to connect with the real world, and the Kronos does this very well. Direct USB connection to Mac or PC, free editing software, free plugin editor that integrates your Kronos with whatever DAW you're using, plus audio I.O. for sending and receiving two channels of audio via USB. I can also use USB to send or save some different media, flash memory, HD, CDRW, and DVD. So think about it. I've got an instrument here that not only inspires me, but gives me the tools to capture my inspiration as soon as I get it. I can then finish my complete project right on the Kronos, or I can directly connect with my computer and integrate with the software I have there. The Kronos is excellent for production. Now, live production sound design, but let's face it, at the heart of the Kronos is indeed sound design. Now, I mentioned earlier on how the Kronos has nine sound engines, so let's take a look at these sound engines in more detail. Starting with the SGX-1, Premium piano. The sole purpose of the SGX-1 is to do one thing and one thing only, and that's be a piano. From the strike of the string, to the sound the damper pedal makes, to how open the lid on the, on the grand piano is, to the sympathetic ring of the piano strings when you hold down the damper. Now, the SGX-1, every single note is sampled in stereo, eight way velocity, no loops. Introducing VMT, Virtual Memory Technology. VMT allows the Kronos to set up a direct connection to the lightning fast solid state drive inside the Kronos. And on there is a library of samples. In fact, there are two pianos. The German Grand and the Japanese Grand. Together, these two pianos are nine gigabyte of sample memory. Nine gigabyte. We uh, feature premier artist contributions inside of the Kronos. What we did is we went to some of the famous and, and talented musicians that we know in the, uh, in, the, in the world and got them to help us to finalize, tweak, create, and, and basically put together some of, many of the sounds that you find inside of the Kronos. And these are very talented people. For example, Herbie Hancock, Jordan Rudis, Frank McComb, George Duke, Lyle Mays, Russ Ferrente, Tom Coster, you see today, Jeff Lorber, John Novello, Ricky Lawson, and many, many more. For example, we sat down, we, uh, sat down with Lyle Mays, 
And first of all, he absolutely loved the piano, and pianos, I should say, but he also really loved the reverbs. And one of the things that Lyle likes to do sometimes is some of his compositions are very open, they have a lot of space to them. And what he does is he sort of uses reverb and sort of integrates it and incorporates it with the actual piano sound. So the reverb and the piano are one sound. This is the one he helped us with called Lyle May's German Grand. sound engine I'd like to show you is the MS-20 EX. In 1978, Korg introduced the amazing MS-20 analog synth, and the sound engineer, the engineers at Korg, have an intimate knowledge of how the original MS-20 worked, so they were able to create the MS-20 EX inside of the Kronos. Not only does it recreate what the MS-20 could do, it goes much further and makes an incredibly powerful polyphonic Um, the, uh, the other nice thing is the MS-20 interface. You just, oops, knock it over. You touch the screen and it will bring up the actual patch bay. So then I can literally just connect cables just by touching the screen directly. The next sound engine I'd like to show you is the Poly 6EX. 1981, the original Poly 6 was released and this faithfully recreates the warm analog sound of that instrument as well as the nice fat punchy sound of the Poly 6 as well. What's great is that the interface, the, the um, uh, control surface connects directly with all of the parameters and knobs and switches that you had on the original Poly 6. <laughs> No, you know, uh, edit, change, select, parameter, change, anything. No, just go to the control surface and edit and change the sounds directly there. You know, it's fun to recreate uh, synths from the past, but the next sound engine, the AL1, was created from scratch of what an actual analog synth can be today. Amazing multi-mode filters, morphing of filters, lightning fast LFOs, step sequence. You know, one of the irritating things about keyboards and plugins is aliasing. When you play a high frequency sound on the top range of the keyboard, you get this really ugly sound. And we used to have it. Everyone had it. Everyone has it. And what we used to do, and what everyone else does, is you roll off the high frequencies as you go up the top range of the keyboard so you can get rid of this aliasing. But the Kronos, we don't have to do that. It has low aliasing oscillators, so I can play high frequency sounds right up on top. They're crystal clear and clean. The next sound engine I'd like to show you is the CX3 Tone Wheel Organ. Modeling how a real organ works right down to the drawbars. synthesis where one waveform modulates another. So you have those familiar FM pianos, familiar FM clavs. But it can go much further than that. A 
lovely touchscreen interface so I can go to each of the operators and connect them just by touching the screen and, and creating a cable. I can do things like wave sequence, uh, sorry, wave shaping. I can also use samples, actual samples of pianos, guitars, flutes, whatever, as FM modulators. In fact, that's what this sound does, using a simple flute. The next sound engine I'd like to play for you is the STR-1 string modeling. This uh, physical modeling synth is able to do things like guitars, basses, bells, electric pianos, etc. But you're, since it's physical modeling, I can literally design what the string is made of. Am I striking it? Am I plucking it? Am I scraping it? And where am I striking it? Am I doing it over the sound hole, closer to the bridge? I can literally do that in real time. It's great for things like... It actually does feedback. Now normally what we would do is that we would sample the guitar with distorted and then would sample the feedback and then switch between those two samples with a joystick or something. You don't need to do that with the STR-1. What this, I find this absolutely insane, but what happens is you can take the output of the engine and bring it back around to re-excite the string. That's what happens when you put your guitar in front of the amplifier. The sound from the amplifier is exciting the string. This. every time. It's not like just a sample between these two things. It's just different. That's amazing to me. Basses, great for bells, but new sounds. This is from an STR-1 string plucked model synth. The next engine I'd like to show you is the ET-1. So EP1 uses a new technology we call MDS, multi-dimensional synthesis. First of all, we do our sampling at one bit, extremely high quality original samples. But the MDS allows us to actually take that sample and separate it into two components, the noise and the actual harmonic content. Then they can, we can adjust the volume of those two, that's one thing. But what's really cool is we can take that tonal uh, content analyze it, take it apart, and put it back together in two dimensions, this way and this way. And that means that there are no velocity switching and no loops. I can go to things like they're inside of the engine, there are vintage effects, choruses, flangers, phasers, and so on. I can even go in and modify the shape of the hammer striking the time. six different uh, electric piano types. Four tine and two reed. We also take advantage of the thing I was talking about earlier, the premier artist contributions. This is one we did with Herbie Hancock called Herbie's Butterfly EP. we've been looking at so, so far sort of specific for something, for pianos, electric pianos, analog synths, etc. This next engine, the HD1 High Definition PCM synth, is based on sampling. And so I can have anything, strings, sound effects, trumpets, bells, and listen to how clean, no way you sing crystal clear up on top, but it can be dirty too. Now we have samples in ROM, we have one gig of RAM, but we can also take advantage of VMT, virtual memory technology. Again, accessing this huge library in real time from the solid state uh, drive internally. In fact, it has over 12 gigabytes of 
PCM, 12 gigabyte, and that'll grow in the future as well. We have lots of different drum and percussion sounds, but we also have some new sampling we did where we actually sampled close mic right up to the snare and kick drum or whatever, and then also sampled in stereo the, the, uh, the ambience in the room. And then you can literally go in and just have the close mic or just the ambience, or dial in how much you want. There's more wave sequencing, the ability to play one sample after another, either rhythmically or smoothly, vector synthesis, where I can sweep between different sounds, but also use it to actually control parameters like panning, filter cutoff, and so on, making amazing soundscapes. Then I can bring all of these technologies together into 16-part combinations. But think about this. I can take a 16-part combination and bring together nine sound engines, the SGX Premium Piano, EP1, MDS Electric Piano, the CX3 Tone Wheel Organ, plus the AL1, the MS20EX, and the Poly6EX Analog Engines, plus the Mod7 Wave Shaping VPM Synth, the STR1 String Plucked Strength Synth, the HD1 High Definite PC, uh, PCM Synth, and combine that with drum track, wave sequencing, Vector synthesis, 16 effects, 32 three-band EQs, Karma, and an amazing control surface, and sound design doesn't even begin to describe <coughs> what you can do with the Kronos.
Kronos. Thank you very much for your time.